Raw dog news. Raw dogging is a term that is considered slang, and it means unprotected. unprotected. Are you kidding me? Okay, you are awesome. Right. You, you did so good. Reporter for the New Republic, Jason Calavito, questioned why if Alonzo was so concerned that UFOs were an imminent national security threat, he didn't take his concerns to national security journalists or to Congress. Instead, he joined up with Puthoff and Team Space Ghost at their new entertainment company. What is Puthoff and Team Space Ghost? Marcus. So... This story is really about how this team of people, Puthoff and his gang, this team Space Ghost, how they got Washington hooked on flying saucers. They hyped this up so much that what we're seeing now is is the result. I mean, they they won. The whole idea is that these things are interdimensional uh, craft that are popping into our existence. And, and it's kind of like this gang of quacks who have very little, but they have enough to make it seem like something and hype and hype and hype. So that they can make a shit ton of money for their entertainment company. I need a dollar, 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 that's what I need. Hey, hey. Well, I oh, okay, so let's see. Harold E. Puthoff, born June 20th, 1936, is an American engineer and parapsychologist. In the 2010s, he co-founded the company To the Stars with Tom DeLonge. So this guy's an electrical engineer. I mean, a long time ago in 1967, he worked in lasers. Then he got interested in Scientology, went all the way up to OT7 by 1971. That's a big deal. Mm -hmm. It's a very big deal, Um, at least in the Scientology world. Were you OT7? No, I'm not OT anything. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> I, was, I was on my own own track, but that's a different story. Yeah. Um, and then what? He just did a, he did a bunch of stuff, but I don't see... There's nothing really that would indicate this guy having any uh, special knowledge or expertise in um, air, aircraft, aliens, any of that. But any. he was involved with NIDS, right? Well, he was involved in, I mean, he's he's a founder of this whole company, so he's involved in everything. Right. But he's old. Right. He's he's quite old. Um, right. And he's $37 million he's 80, in the hole at the moment. I mean, the guy's 84 years old. Like, I don't yeah. know how much he's really doing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, this is all about uh, the, the Blink-182 boy. How <laughs> fucking nuts that Tom DeLong has gotten himself into Congress. And he's going to get fucking Pentagon money. How fucking nuts. This whole thing is nuts. Yeah, it really is. Harold Puthoff, Puthoff, however you say his name, he's known for, it says, uh, gravitational and paranormal, paranormal research. I don't know how much research people are doing on gravity these days. And it, also, it also says here... Uh, According to The Intercept writer Keith Clore, Alonzo and Melon have come to rely on largely passive and credacious press to generate sensational UFO headlines. Yeah, that means they, they find people who can believe anything they say. Right. <laughs> Clore notes that El- Elizondo received considerable media attention from 2017 New York Times story called Glowing Auras and Black Money the Pentagon's mysterious UFO program, and gained visibility by starring in the History Channel's TV series Air and Space, 
magazine wrote that the TV series cast Elizondo as a burly, intrepid, backpacking, toiting crusader seeking to expose the truth in the face of stonewalling government bureaucracy and a culture of ridicule. In doing so, the History Channel followed a long tradition with UFOlogy of portraying the UFO investigator as a heroic figure determined to leer away the veil of secrecy surrounding extraterrestrial visitors. How funny. This whole thing's just funny. It's all about that $22 million. Right. That, I mean... Right. And the $37 million that they're in the hole. That's really that's what it's interesting uh, that's too. That's really what it's about, though. How did they? Where did <laughs> where did that money go? Like, how right. did they? They had that much money to spend to begin with, like, or is this all on credit? Like, what's going on? Did they did they lease a UFO? Is that what's going on? Did they buy? Did they create a UFO with their forty million dollars? Right. <laughs> and now they're flying it around. It's like Tom belongs in the cockpit. We're going back to the cockpit. <laughs> so what's interesting really interesting is that now this was not planned but you, you mentioned something you said it's air and space yeah. like in the sense that it, meaning it's not real like is that what that sentence was that I heard air and space magazine oh okay so it no was just a right no so they're really talking about air and space yeah no it was a review of his <laughs> TV show he did gotcha was on the What's interesting is that the art guy, um, the headline was that he's a master of air and space. Ah. Like, what? How did... Because... We've mixed stories somehow. They they go together because it's, it's the same thing. Bacon. It, fe- it feels like it's the same thing. Like, like, I would give as much credibility to the invisible artist guy sit, telling me that that's real art that yeah. someone really bought... As I do to the UFO guys. Yeah, same shit. It seems like it's the same thing. It's exactly the same shit. You just have to be credible, uh, credulous and enough to believe it. Who's willing to believe, you know, and who's willing to buy into that belief? I, I want to believe. I mean, you know, yeah. really, I that that'd be rad. I want. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we want to believe that there's these things out there? You know. And, and they in this program, what? we're going to explore the universe and our human experience. No, we're not. No, we're not. <laughs> See, they're coming for us. They're trying to get us See? now. That was that. I think that was um, Team Space Ghost. For a second. Well. All right. Hey. We have another explanation for the sparkling light shows that draw people from around the world. 